Can I eat my chipotle bowl in under 10 bites at 500 pounds? One. I, it just, it's so amazing to me how in the year 2024, we're not celebrating momentous great achievements of humanity, like the SpaceX thing that came down and we caught it. We're not celebrating momentous occasions, like, you know, uh, uh, celebrating the fact that maybe we, we solved cancer or something like that. No, no, no. What we're actually doing, what we're actually doing in the year 2024 is watching a 500 pound woman on TikTok d straight up devour a Chipotle bowl in under 10 bites. Who would have known? A hundred years ago, we were fighting like women's rights and, and we were fighting for, you know, like uh, equal income and stuff like that. But here we are in the year 2024. Instead, we're celebrating a woman. We're all cheering for a 500 pound woman to eat whether or not she can eat a Chipotle bowl in under 10 bites. We've achieved amazingness. This is actually an accomplishment. I know a lot of people out there might be thinking, David, this is absolutely disgusting. You're right. I can't, I can't disagree with you. But think about this. We don't even have to worry about anything anymore. Like we're literally out here looking at a 500 pound woman body slam this shit with the, with the, the hot Cheetos and the Doritos on his side. This woman is literally eating what seems to be a serving bowl, a, a serving spoon in her mouth. I'm actually surprised with the amount of like volume, the amount of capacity. The amount of skill points that she has put into her mouth in order to hold that much food. I almost can't even believe that. And the fact that she, I don't know if you guys know how big Chipotle bowls are. They're pretty massive. They're ginormous. They're like big giant bowls of slop. When you go in there, you just pick whatever the fuck you want and they just throw it in the bowl and then you eat it. The fact that she can body slam one of these in under 10 bites is crazy. Um, it's, it's an achievement nonetheless though. I appreciate it. I know you appreciate it. It's a beautiful thing to have to sit here and watch somebody do this. So today we're gonna indulge in this individual. I, I can't even believe this is the first time for me to discover this person, but you know, Jelly Bean Sweets been real quiet ever since this woman came on the scene. Jelly Bean Sweet got nothing on this woman. I mean, she's literally out here body slamming Chipotle bowls in one video. I mean, they, what is Jelly Beans doing nowadays? What, eating ch eating Chick-fil-A? Yeah, e eating Wingstop, dude? Eating like one or two chicken wings, dude? No, 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 we got somebody literally body slamming bowls. Gotta pray to God. Hopefully, please, God, don't let me have a heart attack right now. I know this shit is literally giving me heart palpitations right now. I know that I'm out of breath from simply chewing this fucking food. Good Lord, this shit don't taste good. But you know what? Please, Jesus, God, Lord, please don't let me hit that heart attack right now. I'm about to body slam this shit. And I'm about to upload this shit to TikTok. And it's about to get millions of views. That's what we're praying for. Two. You know what? I feel like she could got she could have got a lot more on that on that uh, that serving that serving uh, spoon right there, dude. I feel like that was a light amount. I feel like she could have easily doubled that. Her mouth, even it's 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 real ambiguous. Even though you see her mouth, it looks like a normal human being mouth. I don't know where she got the space. It's like the tortoise in her mouth. It gets bigger on the inside somehow. She's able to input a lot in there. It's like a squirrel. Uh, you just uh, infinite cheek capacity. Good lord. Her mouth is not, is surprisingly not dirty. It's, it's not that much, not, not that much. Look at that, dude. Half that shit is already gone. Is actually insane to me, bro. By the way, she does have a man. She does have a boyfriend. She does have somebody that she loves and cares about. I don't know necessarily if he loves and cares about her. I think he might be a feeder. Obviously, you're not going to be dating a woman that's 500 pounds, consistently going to fast food restaurants, body slamming Chipotle bowls. I even saw a video on this woman's channel where she went to, uh, she went to a taco spot with her and her manses. And she literally ordered 20 tacos just for herself. And the other dude was sitting in the car depressed as fuck because she was watching. He was watching this woman body slam 20 of these things while she was laughing maniacally while she was swallowing them down. Looking at him, looking at him, talking about some, you ain't having none of this. Can you imagine that, dude? You already fought, you already 500 pounds, dude. You greedy as fuck over here body slamming an entire bowl in seven bites, bro. Look, let's talk about this for a second, though. What if you ever even heard somebody body slamming a Chipotle bowl in 20 bites? 
50 bites. Have you guys ever eaten a Chipotle bowl? I have. It's a slop food. It's something that you get because why not, dude? You're in the position. You're not really, you're out. You don't have a lot of options. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to Chipotle. You're going to get the slop. Hopefully it's better slop than it usually is because most of the time that shit's been out for like nine or 10 hours. So you got to hope that it's fresh and the chips they give you are almost always dehydrated beyond belief. You take a bite of them things. Always, they're not crunchy at all. These things is like, uh, super, super, super moist in the middle, almost all. I don't know exactly how they make these things, but they're always been left out for hours and hours and hours. They've gone stale like three days ago, but it doesn't matter because guess what? You're paying 50 cents a bag or whatever, how much they cost. Anyway, bro, let's keep going. I almost don't want to watch her eat this. <laughs> Holy shit. Three. I, f I really feel like she can get way more on that, on that spoon, dude. I feel like that's light for her. What do you think that what do you think the Chipotle employee thought when when he uh, dished this out to her? You think he was thinking that he was going this woman was about to body slam this shit in seven bites? Damn, bro, that mouth is crazy, dude. God help her. God help her boyfriend. Four. Damn, man. Do your boyfriend don't care about you at all? <laughs> Stop, dude. It's not that good. It's really not. It's the sloppiest of all the slops. And it doesn't even matter because you're literally shoveling in your mouth so fast you can't even register the flavor. Why does it even matter if you're making these mouth noises? It's not that good. Come stop, dude. Stop, dude. It's not that. You got to shut the fuck up for a second. Shut up. It's not that good. Why are you out here clapping for the Chipotle, bro? Do you eat this shit daily? I mean, I, I'm not even joking. I literally saw this woman dancing because she got the free the freebies at the supermarket. They had samples. And she was talking about some wooden samples. Is that I'm hungry. I need to eat right now. And she walked up to the sample desk and she took a couple handfuls. I went by the counter and was like, God damn. What the fuck you doing right now? He said samples. One or two. You out here grabbing the whole thing? What, is, what are people in your life saying about this? Like, when you upload this video to the internet, and, like, does your mom look upon this and go, this is exactly what I wanted for my child. Oh, this right here is is perfection. I love this for my child. You know, I had this one child, and he went off. He was a mechanic. I had this other child. And, and, and she went off. She became a doctor. And my other child, well, they make videos on TikTok eating Chipotle bowls in under seven, under seven bites. And then also, what else do they do? Well, they out here literally body slamming freebies. You know, the 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 they're out here body slamming twenty tacos, uh, entire bowls of cereal, no problem. And you, yeah, that it's beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, some things are not always created equal. Obviously, you know, some people maybe have better achievements than others, but this is an achievement nonetheless. Here we go for the fifth one. Let's do it. Damn. Five. Scraping up the wax off the plate is crazy. Holy shit. Look at this fucking mouth action. What is that? What do you like? What is this like? Is this a motion to get your boyfriend to come over and fill you back up, dude? This is our life right now. Five bites right there, bro. And we putting that shit. Oh, my God. We, fin we really putting Six. the Doritos on there. Oh, she counting that? Oh, my God. Oh, I feel like she could have easily done that in six bites. Easily. Maybe even five bites if she really tried. I don't even think that seven bites was really... I think she, that last bite had a pretty laxed amount. That wasn't even filling up the whole spoon. I think, personally, she could do it in under five. What do you guys think? I think five bites, personally. Damn, she's scraping the residue up. Damn. Damn, bro. You got to squish the bowl just to make sure everybody knows what you just did to yourself. Do you even give a fuck about yourself at all? You out here literally, by the way, if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen the title of her channel, is literally called 500 LB Gaintis. Gaintis, okay? 500 pounds, openly bragging about the fact that you 500. 500 solid ass pounds, big as fuck. You out here literally body slamming Chipotle bowls, scraping up the wax off the bottom of that shit while you're out here scrumbling it up. I almost can't even believe this person exists, but this is what this is what the world is right now, okay? Um, what a what a joy. What a joy it is to be a part of the Western developed countries where you can literally do some disgusting, sloppy shit like this. Crazy, man. Diabolical, man. Look at this shit. She's still got to eat the Doritos, though, right? How I eat cereal at 500 pounds. What do you mean, like, when you say how I eat cereal at 500 pounds, is there a difference between somebody eating cereal at 500 pounds compared to somebody that's 150 or less? I didn't know there was a difference. Uh, but I guess the, the chocolate syrup or strawberry syrup is the, the key defining factor here. 
I guess I had not been aware of this. I did not know that when you hit 500 pounds, the prerequisite for that is now the diet changes so drastically that you have to add syrup to the... By the way, that bowl is crazy. That bowl is not a normal bowl. That's like a three-time serving bowl. That's a massive-ass bowl. I know you may not see as big as big of a bowl it is. That's just because she's a big-ass person. But that bowl is big. God damn. You putting the ice in that shit is crazy, bro. Ice and milk? Oh, oh my God. And a Fruity Pebbles? Oh, nah, dude. You ain't out here body slamming a whole entire box of cereal, dude. And it's Fruity Pebbles? An entire box? What are you doing, bro? That's enough to feed like five or six children at a time. You out here body slamming the whole box? You just don't give a fuck about yourself at all? You know that's like, that's a children's cereal too. That's the kind with literal non-stop sugar. You even got legs left? What type, what type diabetes you got right now, bro? That shit gotta be easily over 100. Good lord, woman. You really out here doing that shit? Oh my god. Gotta get the almond milk, of course. Yeah, whole milk obviously would be too much. Oh my. Look at her licking her lips while like anticipating the pure bliss. How many backs? This ain't even big back behavior, bro. This is some hunchback. This is some fucking uh, blue belly back whale shit. This is some crazy shit. Praying to God, dude. This spoon, this spoon gotta go. This spoon, I don't know if she just has one spoon in her entire house, but that spoon gotta go. This shit is the downfall of her life. Just a snack, huh? Just something to set you right? Oh my god. The heaping, the heaping serving sizes. Oh my god. You know, one thing. <laughs> she did not say 10 out of 10, bro. You know what they say, right? They say women tend to speak two times more words in a day than men. All right? I've always thought that women were a little bit more social. This woman, though, I think that she doesn't speak two times as many words. I think she probably uses her mouth two or three times more than most people. In general, though, given the fact that her mouth is consistent. I mean, dude, her jaw muscles got to be literally fatigued to a different degree. Like, I feel like after a day of eating like this, your jaw muscles got to have calluses on it. Because look, look at the amount of food, the amount of chewing, the amount of, the amount of product in the throat is crazy and this woman's satisfying her throat daily i'm not even joking these videos are not unique she has a whole tiktok page dedicated to doing these anomalistic videos of her body slamming over i mean how many can somebody please do the math really quickly in the comment section how much how many calories is an entire box of cereal and a little bit of almond milk how many cups that is in almond milk like two or three cups somebody please do the math oh yeah i forgot about the uh the strawberry syrup, too, if you can add that in there, too. How many calories is that? Please, somebody let me know. She said that shit's heaven? You about to see heaven after this shit, bro. Knocking on the fucking door. Knocking on the door of God's front door, bro, with this. Oh, my God. Look how massive that shit is. Look at the serving. Look how it, like, apexes over the top. And she got the milk sliding down the side of her face. This, this is this is what we're doing nowadays. This is how we live in life. Damn. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. At 500 pounds is actually insane, bro. This woman knows what she's doing. It'd be one thing if she was like one of those mukbangers that kind of eats the food and then like spits it out right after. But I, she's committed. She's 100% committed. She's actually body slamming the entire bowl. Like this woman's unstoppable. I've never seen a woman so committed to her art. It'd be, like I said, one thing to sit there and eat the food, spit it out, and then go, oh guys, I ate it all. Oh my God, it was so heavy in my stomach. I loved it. This woman is actually going for it. She's body slamming the entire bit. And... At least she's committed, right? I'll give her that. I'll give her that. She's going the whole she's going the whole way. Man. I, I I would just lose taste buds after the first bite or two. It's just sugar. It's just sugar at the end of the day. This is just all carbohydrates and sugar. I wouldn't even give this to a child. This is just all sugar and carbohydrates. And she's just body slamming the shit as if it doesn't matter to her. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> you know what's crazy is like how do you, if you're a feeder i've always said this bro if you're a feeder the entire idea of being a feeder is that you're feeding the person that you you have this kink for right if so if you're over here buying a box of cereal and you thinking that box of cereal is gonna last maybe a week a week and a half and this woman literally takes that box of cereal, dumps it out, and eats the entire box in one sitting. Are you not looking at that woman going, oh my god, I didn't think it was like this? That's an expensive habit. That's an expensive fetish, right? If you have, if you're somebody and you're addicted to sucking toes, that's whatever. There's not really much you're going to be able to do there. Everybody's got toes for the most part. Some people might have a little bit more toes. Some people have a little bit less toes. Maybe some toes got bunions on them. Some toes are a little flaky. But overall, if you're a dude and you like sucking toes, it's not going to be that bad. Most women take care of their feet. So if you like sucking toes, maybe you like to put a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's. Maybe you like to put a little barbecue sauce or maybe some sriracha on that. Whatever. The point I'm making is, it's not that expensive. You're probably spending maybe five or six bucks a month on a barbecue sauce to suck a woman's toes. This this fetish right here has got to be one of the most expensive ones besides like maybe imbuing upon your girlfriend like a drug addiction. Maybe that's more expensive. But this is also equivalent to a drug addiction because this woman's body slamming boxes of cereal, entire bowls of Chipotle and bites. And you're over here, you think that shit's hot. Like, sure, you might be, like, smacking your meat up, looking at your girl, beating, you know, e eating down this cereal, eating down all this food and shit like that. But at some point, you got to come to the realization that you're wasting money. You're out here literally spending thousands of dollars a month to fulfill this girl's fetish, and now she likes it. And now she's body slamming just for the thrill of body slamming. It's not even for you anymore. It's for everybody. We are all enjoying it, dude. Your fetish is now everybody's fetish. This is communist fetishism. Oh, no. And that shit's actually finished. No joke. Most of that shit's done. Most of the cereal is gone at this point. It's just milk at this point. It's just the, like the thin layer of whatever is residue is left on the cereal and then milk. Damn. Holy shit, bro. Somebody got to take away this, this spoon. Shaking your head after eating it as if that shit's good as fuck in your mouth. Like you... It's not that good, okay? And I understand you're doing this shit so that way other people can look upon this and go, Oh my god, that shit looks so good. I can't wait to see you eat more. And by the way, when you do this particular type of content, I don't even know how you one-up yourself. Like when you eat a Chipotle bowl in seven bites, when you down an entire box of cereal, how do you one-up this shit? What are you like going to the African safari and eating entire zebras? Like how do you do this shit? Like what do you do after this? Like there's nothing else. You've literally hit pinnacle at this point. It's gone. She bodied that whole shit. Look at it. It's just milk at that oh. point. Oh my god. Diabetes. Diabetes speed run right there, dude. God damn. God damn. Woo. Shit, bro. Damn, them knuckles is ashy as fuck. Damn, bro. You got no lotion? Oh my god. Them things is crusty. She got them whole ass croissants on her fingers. I mean, you know what, dude? Let's be honest. When you're this size, you don't give a fuck. Like, I mean, come on. How much money you think you're going to be spending on lotion? Not even nearly as much as you're going to be spending on that fucking the, the, the Taco Bell. Supreme. Supreme, my right, Supreme Taco. Just tossing that shit. Grilled cheese burrito. That shit's as ashy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn. Fuck, bro. Dude, Oh my god! Oh my god! You out here one bite in the the Supreme Taco? Oh damn! Oh damn! This is the final boss. If this if this if this person turns into a zombie, this is the one that you have to you spec out. Use the one you have to create a whole build to challenge. How do you do that? The whole thing gone? What's even gonna happen to that burrito? That burrito's shaking in its boots. Damn, ashy as fuck. Damn, them elbows is crusty too. Damn. Grilled cheese burrito. Smoke that. Oh, woo! Damn! Oh! Ow! You gotta shake your head you gotta you know like do like this so that way it shuffles down faster you know what i'm talking about like you ever see you ever see like seagulls when they eat like rabbits or whatever and they're just sitting there and they're just going to try to like force it down 
that's basically the same shit here, except you're just doing this to try to shake it down your throat. You know what I'm saying? Two biting of the burrito is kind of crazy. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, the slurping noise. Look at your face. Look what you've done to yourself. Don't, don't, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't dance after you just did what you just did. That shit is tra that shit is crazy as fuck. Don't don't do that. Don't 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 disrespect me like that. What's it what's it, what's it even to celebrate at that point? You just body slam like a quick 1500 calories and now you dancing about that shit? Like was that just a snack for you? Something to hold you down for the cereal your the cereal box you're about to eat later? Damn. Good, good luck, you know. God help any any supermarkets that got any this woman coming in there, dude. This woman look like she about to inhale an aisle. Damn, she, you really out here trying to get the remnants of whatever's left? There's nothing left. What, are you going to suck down the cheese? It's some hair here. That ain't stopping nothing. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? So you, you got a burger with hair in that shit, and you're like, whatever? That's just seasoning to you, huh? That shit don't matter to you at all. You just gonna body slam it into some like Indonesian or Mexican man's hair on your shit and you just like, <laughs> whatever, dude. Extra, extra calories. That's fucking gross as hell. What the fuck? <laughs> you literally body slammed a burger with hair in it and you don't give a fuck about that shit? You don't care. It's whatever at that point, dude. I mean, listen. If you're, I don't even know how many patties that burger had. It looked like it had six patties. Do you give a fuck about yourself at that point? If you're body slamming a six patty burger and you find hair in that shit, whatever. At that point, it's probably better for you. You probably get a little bit of fiber in that shit, I guess. It's some hair in here. That ain't stopping nothing. Quadruple Whopper. Quadruple Whopper. A quad. A quadruple Whopper, huh? I don't even know they made that shit. No, I thought they forgot one of my patties, but they didn't. They just tucked away. Yeah, one, two, three, four patties. I'm surprised you can count that high. A good GG on that one. Let's get it. I'm so ready. Wait. Nah, ain't no way she gonna be able to put that shit in her mouth, right? No way her jaw's gonna be unhooking to get that shit in her mouth, dude, like a snake. This is how it looks. It don't okay. look good. It don't look good at all. That shit look fermented as hell. GG, man. Your blood pressure gotta be on 900 at this point. Purple Wednesday fine. Mm. Mm. Oh. First bite. Oh my. Fire. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh my god. The tomato. The tomato don't matter. How you do this shit? How can mm. you do this every day? You just don't care. Like, this is just, like, a whatever situation. You, you think this is, like, okay for you? You think that this is not going to, like, do anything to you in, like, 10, 15 years? You know this adds up. You do understand that, yeah? You do understand eating an entire bowl of, sorry, box of cereal, eating a giant Chipotle dish in under seven bites, eating a burger, a four-patty burger, a quad burger from Burger King. You know it's not normal, right? You know that shit's going to add up. You know that shit's eventually going to catch up, right? I guess it don't matter, dude. Just satisfy your mouth now. Damn. At least it got vegetables, I guess. Damn. Fuck. Mm -mm -mm. Why are you dancing it's for that shit? Oh, woo. The mouth smacking. <gasps> oh, damn. How your mouth open up that far? That wig is all lopsided a little bit. Damn. Fuck. Slow the fuck down a little bit. You going a little bit too hard. Look, even the dog is looking at you side-eyed. Damn, bro. I feel bad for that dog, bro. Do you even feed that motherfucker? Ah. Mm. Oh. <gasps> oh. Purple bun fermented. Oh! It's like evaporating in her mouth, speed running life. Huh? 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 Uh. Oh! Uh. 
greedy as fuck. What does your doctor think about this? It looked like she got a filter on too. Yeah, I guess she got a filter on. That filter don't know what to do though. Can't even register any of that shit. It's just it's just an anomaly. What a what a beautiful specimen of human being right there. I feel happy for her husband. Obviously, her husband or boyfriend who's just sitting there watching this woman consume thousands of calories per day, not even not even, not even caring about him for the camera. Just for the camera. Just for me and you. We're just going to watch that shit together and watch this woman consume thousands of calories cuz we love it. You love it. I love it. Or well, maybe you love it. I don't love it, but regardless on that. Um, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I appreciate tremendously. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in cereal. Have you ever dusted down a box of cereal? Have you ever body slammed an entire box of cereal? Have you? And I'm not talking about those little cereal boxes you get at school. I'm not talking about those ones. I'm talking about the fucking big box. I'm talking about the actual big boxes of cereal. Have you ever dusted that shit down comfortably? Just no problem either. Just slopping that down in your throat. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know of the big back shit you've ever done. Because that shit was beyond big back, wasn't it? That's some omega level fucking big back shit right there, dude. Like, Professor Charles Xavier is putting this woman on, the, like, really keeping a good eye on this woman just in case she get too big. But anyway, guys, you're a specimen of humanity. I love your, uh, your eyes. I love the way that your hair is on your head. It looks good. It looks very good. I love your armpit hair, too. I know you don't like it. I know. It gets itchy sometimes, but it looks good. I love it. Let me smell it. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> smells good. <clears throat> smells really good, actually. A little bit too good, if you ask me. But anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.